in the late 70s, there were two friends. Um, they were named William Afton and Henry Emily. And they opened a restaurant together called Fred Bear's Family Diner. The restaurant had two animatronics. One was Fred Bear and the other was Spring Bonnie. The animatronics could also turn into suits by having the endoskeletons retract into the suit and be held in place by an invention called spring locks. All right, so the restaurant was a success and the owners opened a sister location called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Pizza. And William Afton created a company called Afton Robotics and opened another restaurant by himself called Circus Baby's Pizza World. William Afton gets even crazier. Over at the uh, Circus Baby's Pizza World, he programs the uh, animatronics that he has there so that they have the ability to kill children. Terrible. And unfortunately, William's daughter, Elizabeth, was killed by the circus baby animatronic, even though William had warned her not to go near circus baby. Okay, he got so crazy at this point, I don't know why, but he decides that he will kill Henry, his partner, daughter, Charlotte. Unfortunately, this caused the Circus Baby Pizza World to close down after only being open for one day. <laughs> How terrible, oh God. Unfortunately, at this time, William Afton went completely crazy and murdered five children. He did it by putting on the Spring Bonnie suit and luring him, oh shucks, luring them someplace where they already killed them. Okay, so Charlotte's soul was now um, trapped in an invention called the security puppet. She was able to give life to the five dead children by placing them into the Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Fred Bear animatronics. Okay, um, at this time, the um, animatronics that were at the Circus Babies are retired and moved to an underground facility beneath William's house. He also made sure that his younger son, who we do not know whose name is at this point, uh, would never, ever, ever go to Freddy's restaurant again. He did this by creating uh, animatronics with uh, an illusion disc installed in them. They were small discs produced by Afton's Robotics that emitted sound frequencies that made people see things. Mm. Okay, now we're going to talk about um, William's younger son. We don't know his name, so I'm going to refer to him as the younger son. He <clears throat> was terrorized by the uh, animatronics at night. On top of that, his father gave him a stuffed animal of Fred Bear with a radio inside of it. Oh my God. And he would talk to his son through it at night and try to convince him to avoid and never go to Fred B's restaurant. Unfortunately, the younger son without a name still wanted to go there very, 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 very much. Also at this time, the old, William's older son, Michael, who doesn't sound very nice at all, would scare his younger brother and bully him. That's too bad, poor younger brother. <clears throat> On the day of the younger brother's birthday, 
is forced to spend the day at Fred Bear's family diner. During the party, Michael, his older brother and friends, put the younger brother's head in the mouth of the Fred Bear automatronic, animatronic, sorry. The animatronic crushed the younger brother's head by biting down on him due to a malfunction. Jeez. Okay, this event is called the Bite of 83. I take it maybe this was 1983. Okay, well, happy birthday, kid without a name. After this, all of the Freddy's restaurants closed down. Henry also suspects that William is responsible for the killings of the children, and he goes off the grid, which means he disappears. William also starts renting the circus baby uh, animatronics for kids' birthday parties. Great. And he discovers that the children who were killed and missing are possessed in inside of the animatronics. For such a crazy guy, you think he would have figured it out earlier, but he didn't. So that's the latest. All right. The souls of the children were turned into a liquid metal called remnant. It's believed that William did experiments with this metal. Also at this time, he opened a new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. He had new uh, and improved animatronics there that had uh, facial recognition installed that was connected to a criminal database. No one from the mafia ever ate there. Okay, now at the new Freddy Fazbear's restaurant, there were um, some of the older animatronics that were used for spare parts. Also, the animatronics Balloon Boy and JJ, who were originally at the Circus Baby's Pizza, were also used at this new restaurant. I'm not sure what they did. <laughs> All right, so it's thought that uh, William probably created an artificial intelligence of himself around this time. He also killed five more children at the Freddy Fazbear Pizza. This caused the, the restaurant to shut down. <laughs> oh my God. What if any parents noticed their kids were gone? Um, but during the final birthday party, one of the employees got their frontal lobe bit off by the mangle animatronic. This was called the bite of 87. I think it was really dangerous to eat there, these places. Um, okay. <laughs> That's all, folks. Mm. Okay. Now, around this time, it's thought that William probably created an artificial intelligence of himself. I don't think it could have been very intelligent. Just warped. Okay. He also killed five more children at the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. This unfortunately led to the close of that location. But during the final birthday party, one of the employees got their frontal lobe bit off by the mango animatronic. This was called the Bite of 87. Okie doke. With the close of the restaurant, the new uh, animatronics were scrapped. The old ones were kept at the uh, original Freddy's restaurant. Uh, William went to the restaurant to destroy the animatronics. What he didn't know was that this would temporarily free the souls of the children from the suits. 
While being attacked by the children's souls, he hides in the spring bonnie suit. Unfortunately, the um, suit's spring locks malfunction and the metal endoskeleton pierced into William, causing his death. Well, I can't say I feel too bad about that. He had it coming to him. Okay, so uh, when Michael Alton realizes that his father killed all these children, he signs up as a technician uh, in the place where the circus baby um, animatronics are stored. They're the ones that are rented out to birthday parties. He um, investigates the animatronics and realizes that they are all possessed by the souls of the children and his sister is possessed by circus baby eventually the animatronics take pieces of themselves together and create a new animatronic called anard With their consciousness all inside of the Inard, they scoop out Michael's insides and crawl inside him and take his identity. Okay, wow. When Michael's body began to rot, the Inard, 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 Inard left his body. Michael's soul was able to repossess his own body and he continued his investigations at a newly opened Freddy's restaurant, another restaurant. He signed up as a security guard. Oh, um, the new Freddy's place had a far smaller budget and used old Freddy, Bonnie, Boxy, and Chica uh, animatronics. It also is important to know that at this time, Michael Afton changed his name to Michael Schmidt <laughs> so he wouldn't be associated with his father. That was probably a good idea. Okay. Due to Freddy's franchise's reputation, the restaurant was shut down and Michael was fired for tampering with the animatronics. He also figures out that remnant can be destroyed by fire. Later on, a horror attraction was created called Fazbear Frights and once again, Michael gets a job there. People who worked uh, on the attraction find the old spring bonnie suit with William's corpse inside. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. The Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, and Chica uh, animatronics were also there. Michael burns the place down, freeing the children from the uh, animatronics. But William started to possess the Spring Bonnie suit and escaped. Hmm. Okay. Around this time, Circus Baby is kicked out of the enner by the other souls inside. Also, Henry comes back to create one final Freddy's restaurant. The restaurant was designed to be a trap for the remaining possessed animatrons. These people are William, Charlotte, Elizabeth, and Ennard, who is now dubbed the Molten Freddy. Hmm. Both Henry and Michael work together to trap the uh, animatrons inside and burn the place down. Henry and Michael also die in the fire. Ugh. William is now trapped in purgatory. <laughs> he deserves it. And is being tortured by the soul that possessed the Fred Bear. <laughs> and is being tortured by the soul that possessed the Fred Bear animatron. Ick. A long time later, Freddy's Pizza tries to relaunch their brand by making a virtual reality game, making fun of the urban legend of Freddy's. While making the game, the creators scanned an old hard drive with the William Afton AI 
artificial intelligence, and the artificial intelligence infects the game. One of the people who tested the game, named Vanessa, gets possessed by the AI. And after this, the events of security breach happen. Hmm. Okie doke.